Hello world, it is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's overcast and it's cold again, so it's gone back to more normal February um, temperatures. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think the high is going to be around 30 degrees or so. Slightly warming as we head into March. The devotion for today is entitled that extra package of toilet paper written by Martha Spong. Martha bases the devotion upon Luke chapter 17 verses 1 through 2, New Revised Standard Version. Jesus said to his disciples, Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to anyone by whom they come. It would be better for you if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause one of these little ones to stumble. And Martha's devotion. Two years ago, as news spread about a novel coronavirus and disruptions it might cause, I remembered living through a widespread ice storm years earlier in Maine and wishing I had done a I had a better pattern of replenishing everyday items. So I made a list, and on Monday, March second, my wife, who was humoring me, went to Sam's Club and loaded up at a level. I wouldn't call survivalist, but capital P prepared. When the stores soon ran short, I thought about the extra large package of toilet paper we now had in reserve. Did we and many others mess up, mess things up by getting one shopping trip ahead of our usual pace? That extra package weighed on me even more after an anonymous church member kindly dropped off another by our back door. Whatever decisions we are making, or actions we are taking. We live in connection with other people. I impact you and you me, whether or not we ever learn the specifics. As Jesus told his friends, people are bound to mess up. It's every day as the extra toilet, it's as every day as the extra toilet paper. Just, just don't be the one who leads them to it. I wonder, whose stumbling block am I? And the prayer. Holy One, help us to understand the significance of our actions and the impact we have on others. Forgive us for the times we did not recognize the harm we caused and enable us to make things right. In Christ's name, amen. Well, for me, the devotion brought up the thought that um, it, it helps to be more mindful of the choices we make and the impact on one another and the impact on the world. We often don't do that, um, and I think it takes intentional effort to try to focus on that and to understand it. Um, and then the other is that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that sometimes you do things without thinking about it, not out of any um, purpose or anything like that, but just that's just what happens. Um, and you may not find out until afterwards. And that's okay. God still loves you and forgives you. Um, just be more mindful of your actions in the future and try not to do it again. And then, of course, there's always the people who purposely lead people the wrong way or cheat people or do something to cause others to do harm. Um, I think that's probably where the scripture is more pointing at. Not so much the mistakes we make um, by accident, but the purposeful mistakes we make. And the purposeful mistakes we make can also be done, be things that in the past we've done by accident, become aware of our actions, but then refuse to do anything about them or if you refuse to change. I really think as we move forward in this world, we do need to become more mindful of our individual impact and our collective impact on one another and on the world and on people all around the world, being more conscious and making better choices and better decisions for the good of all and not just for our own convenience. Hope you have a good day and I hope to talk to you again tomorrow.